We've been traveling all over GNAT country this week, heading to all the 11 towns in our coverage area. Today we headed up the mountain to Weston, best known perhaps for its playhouse and as the home of the Vermont Country Store. Across from the town green and its classic New England downtown is the town hall, where the select board meets and where we ran into Jim Linville, the vice chairman of the select board, and Tim Goodwin, a former state representative and a current select board member. Together, they walked us through the warning and the budget proposal Weston's voters will tackle when they meet for their traditional floor meeting style town meeting, which will be held at the Weston Playhouse on Tuesday, March 3rd, and will start at 9 a.m. Bottom line hasn't changed much. I mean, no. we're, we're, uh, we're dealing with uh, a number of items that are a little uncertain, um, like the uh, the Trout Club Road culvert, where we're we have a culvert that has uh, exceeded his use, its useful life, and uh, we need to replace it. The state is get, going to give us some money, so they say, for the replacement. But uh, they, until we get the high the hydro, hydrological study from them, we don't know whether we're going to be able to replace it with the, a round culvert, which is what we have now, or we're going to have to go to a box culvert. Uh, so that's, we've, the Article 18 in the, uh, in the warning uh, deals, deals with that, and we've got enough in that uh, article to pay for a box culvert if we need it but we're hoping that we don't. So, but other than that, I think the, the, the numbers are, uh, yeah, the, the, there are no big issues. It's, you know, just more of the same. So the tax rate would probably be staying roughly the same as it, as it was last year, assuming voters. That's our hope. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our hope. That's, uh, that's the way it looks. There's not yeah. quite enough information at this point in time to, to uh, nail it down, so to speak. We bumped up the uh, the highway fund. Um, let me see if I've got it. We're yeah, moving in the direction of getting a little paving done that some people are going to be happy to hear about there. Right. Good point. Good yeah. point. And this is that's Article Eight. Um, we had been appropriating forty thousand a year to a high uh, uh, to the. Uh, Highway road pave a highway maintenance fund, which is basically for road paving, um, because of all the dirt road maintenance just happens, you know, year by year as needed. Um, and uh, th there's a another example of um, a situation where we. Traditionally, we've been getting reimbursed or state grants for, for paving, and those come along at unpredictable times with unpredictable amounts. And uh, it seems as though if we get grants at the rate we've been getting them for the last 15 or 20 years, um, we we are not going to have enough to maintain the paving uh, that we've got in town. And if, if I was a betting man, and we all are, um, I would not bet that the state is going to increase its allocations for, to the towns for paving. So the increase to the, uh, to the annual uh, appropriation for the highway maintenance fund is going up to address that. No, no, we're we're well looking said. for listers. <laughs> we're look so is everybody. And it's a great job. <laughs> so that is a, a, an ongoing challenge that is only getting greater as, as I see it. And, and uh, you know, at some point in the future, we may have to, we're, we're going to have to face that and deal with it one way or the other. Just a reminder, Vermont is also one of the Super Tuesday states, and voting in the state's presidential primary will also be part of the balloting voters will get to do on Tuesday, March 3rd. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.